They're creepy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky. They were all together hideously out of date. It's the Adams Family serial. So yeah, back in 1991, the Adams Family, the beloved comic strip stroke TV series, was reborn using big wadges of Hollywood money as a major motion picture. And I'll tell you what, friends, it was all over everywhere with a million different tie-in things. And one of those tie-in things was, quite obviously, serial. Tell you what, it's a good film as well. If you haven't seen it, very good comedy. It looks like Christopher Lloyd in it from Out Back to the Future, but you can't really recognise him. Rail Julia, the late great, Angelica Houston, and a very young Christina Ricci. Ooh. Um, the storyline basically, if I remember, goes uh, Uncle Fester's been missing for years and he kind of comes back. Or is it him? Or is it somebody pretending? Ooh, Uncle Fester. And he's being controlled by a woman. As opposed to the sequel, The Adams Family Values, where Uncle Fester's kind of being controlled by an evil woman. I don't know what the thing was about Adam's Family Films and that plot line, but there we are. In fact, the sequel, Adam's Family Values, is arguably even better. Oh, you don't see that often for sequels, do you? Anyway, this is irrelevant. We want to look at hideously old serial. Yay. Free, the Adam's Family movie portrait on back. I'm more interested in this massive flashlight, or torch, as we call them over here, in the shape of Lurch, the um, Adam's Family's kind of butler, manservant sort of person. It's not sculpt, because they've made him very short and squat. The thing about Lurch is, he's incredibly tall. But yeah, this is American cereal. Quite why it's ended up over here, I don't know. I can't remember who sent it to me now. Thank you if it was you. Uh, it's full of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> you knew that was coming, didn't you? Um, looking up online, people say the taste of it was a bit like Cheerios, but sort of a bit blander. So that's nice, isn't it? On the back we have... Oh, look at this. There's Lurch putting together the hideously defunct Christmas tree with a couple of Halloween skulls and things in it. Tis the season to be melancholy. Lurch, Pugsley and Wednesday trimming the tree. I do like the idea of calling a child Wednesday. I don't know why. Have Mom or Dad help you cut out this picture frame along the edges of the frame. Cut along the dotted line outside the frame and hope... Can you say frame a few more times, please, lads? And fold the bottom under so the frame will stand up. Use a diagram as a guide. Probably not going to bother, going to be honest. I quite like the frame, with the sort of atoms and the, uh, well, reptiles eating the letter A, which is quite groovy. Ooh, we get little bits on the side. Getting too old for the same loops and letters in your cereal? Why, yes, that's exactly the problem I'm having in my life. Then you're ready for a new taste adventure with the Adams Family brand Sweetened Cereal. It's mostly sugar, kids, don't worry. Chocolate frosted sugar bombs. Deliciously demented, this new cereal has a mysterious flavour you're going to love. And the skulls, headless dolls and thing cereal pieces, right. So, skulls, gotcha. Headless dolls, maybe in Thing. Thing is the disembodied hand that the Adams family has as a sort of weird pet. Except I don't think it's a pet because it's kind of really intelligent, isn't it? I don't know. I'm confused now. But these serial pieces are as bizarre as the Adams family themselves. And that, friends, is the main thing. Meet the family. We, we all know this stuff. Let's read about Lurch. Go on, just because he's the torch. The Adams gigantic mute butler who protects the children from healthy influences everywhere. Probably gets them to eat this cereal. So, yeah. Yeah, this is considerably out of date. 1991, it's now 2019. I make that 28 years. Mm -mm -mm. What could possibly go right? So, um, briefly speaking a while ago to Matt from Dinosaur Dracula, which is like a really good American uh, sort of nostalgia site and stuff, he said there was a surprising number of these very old cereal boxes, specifically of the Adams Family cereal, still around, unopened. And the theory is that, uh, I believe it's his theory actually, that uh, basically collectors saw, oh look, there's like a proper toy on it, so we'll keep this and it might be worth something in a few years time. And 28 years later it's still worth nothing because, you know, loads of people kept it. So uh, there we are. We should probably eat some for science, shouldn't we? <clears throat> science. Right. What we got? Parents. Ooh. Oh, look at that sp I want that spoon! Not, not a phrase I thought I'd use today. That's an amazing spoon. It's got a skull on it. Right. To replace battery, use small Phillips screwdriver to remove screws. And one size AA ever-ready battery. Actually, <laughs> typical American thing that actually gives you what make you should be using. Oh, oh, the tape's gone all funny, guys. Mm. It's quite nicely sculpted. It's got a little oh, it's a bulb in the top as opposed to an LED. Well, I suppose it would be back from 91, wouldn't it? Right, let's uh, see if this works. I very much doubt it. It looks like something's oozed out the back of it. Oh, I can't even get it to go on, actually. Ugh. 
Yeah, that's not really working, is it, anymore? I think that is completely knackered. I will... Oh, God. I don't know if you, you can't make it out from there, but there's an awful lot of rust on the bottom of that. Whatever zinc chloride battery in, was left in here has completely and utterly rusted out Lurch's innards. Sorry, Lurch. And you brought along your special white vase and bottle as well. Cup, can, could be anything, that. Right. <clears throat> So what happens to incredibly sweet cereal 28 years later? Well, there's only one way we're going to find out. I wonder how much it was originally. I'm guessing a billion dollars. Cereal may settle during shipment. Settle for what? Like a disappointing husband? Full net weight guaranteed. Amazing. Well, it looks kind of great, actually. This uh, is kept absolutely fine. You can see the skull shapes and you can see the... Uh, Headless doll shapes? That doesn't quite work, that, does it? Headless doll is the doll that uh, Wednesday, the Christina, Christina Ricci played character, has around. And... Oh yeah, and that one sort of thing. The shapes are a bit crap, really, aren't they? They're, they're very loose. But there we are. They are made out of cereal. And they are fortified with nine essential vitamins and minerals and a shit ton of sugar. Right. Right. Gonna adjust the camera. Bear with me for jump cut. Right, that's done. So... <sighs> I'm going to open it up and uh, see what jolly smells come out. Ooh, it's, it's opened up fairly easy. Ooh, look at that. It smells of sugary cereal, quite obviously, but there is a little hint of some sort of stale must going on. So that's good, isn't it? Great. Mmm. Amazing. I'm sure this will be my first of many bowls of this. Right, um, which one do we try? I thought I should put a spoon in it. I'm not going to use a spoon, but... Uh, yay, cereal. Put milk on it. I'm not wasting any milk. Right, um, I'm going to have this... Oh, it's got a little black bit on it. Oh, that could be the poo of a horrible weevil or something. Um, I'm going to try this small skull. We will call this skull... Billy. Billy the best skull. Um... Wow. Oh, well, the sugar's still there. That's good. It's kind of obliterated into nothing in your mouth. It's still crunchy. Um, do you know, it's not hideously unpleasant, but... I mean, I'm sure you're aware of the word stale. <sighs> yeah, yeah. This is kind of the textbook entry for it now. Yep. That's about as stale as you get, really. Oh, dearie me. Yeah, uh, and it's probably not actually dangerous to eat more, but I'm not bloody going to. Oh, dear. Well, Ralston, hmm, you made some cereal. It kind of kept over the years, but not to an extent that you'd actually want to eat it. Oh, oh all I'm left now is, is a weird cardboardy stale flavour. Oh, that's horrible. Right. Tell you what, I'm going to go rinse my mouth out and we can see what actually happens at the back of that lurch torch. So, yeah. Um, the bottom screw is so rusted up I'll have to actually break it to remove it. The head is entirely rusted away. The insides just kind of fell to bits. Look, here's a small bulb. The bulb seems to have survived. But yeah, I think the, the mechanism of this is a bit far gone. You can't quite see it at home, I don't think. But, um... Yeah, it's a shame. It's a very simple setup, though. It's just literally contact um, for the top and bottom, not even any wires, just straight into the uh, bulb. Well, you know what? It's not going to be very good because these old 80s torches never really were a single crap bulb and a double A. And I'd like to point out, once I actually get this in focus, yeah, that'd be nice. Thanks. Um, they say put an ever ready battery in, but they give you a Sonic. Got a rust fast, and it certainly did. Well, <clears throat> In conclusion, I think there's three things we've learned. Number one is that you can't keep a cheap torch with the same AA battery in for 28 years. Two is that you can't really just keep cereal for 28 years and expect it not to taste stale. And three, if my girlfriend asks, I didn't use one of the nice bowls, okay? Subscribe for more.